Hello to you once again. We have been discussing the topic, the untold truths and stories about genitals, where we are focusing on HPV and cervical cancer connection. Now, whether you are a health enthusiast or you are just curious about safeguarding your health, this episode is packed with valuable information on preventive um, strategies. Now, stay with us as we equip you with knowledge as you navigate towards a healthier future. I'm still your host, Uchen Namadi, and I'm with the delectable Dr. Habib, the clinical coordinator of NLCC. Now, Dr. Habib, please, before we proceed to the main, like, as in prevention strategies, I want to ask a question that has been bothering me. Why is it necessary that individuals who come for um, cervical screening are advised to abstain from coitus or sexual intercourse? Why? Why is it necessary? Well, it is necessary to abstain for a few days so that we are sure that you don't have contamination from your partner while you are taking the sample. We want to take the real sample. We don't want to take any other thing thing with it. (laughs) Any other thing with it. So how long do you have to abstain? Two two days, two, three days. Oh, Mm. two, three days. Okay, it's not that long ago. Okay, (laughs) thank you very much for that. So now moving to the prevention strategies, what additional strategies beyond vaccination can help to prevent... Well, safe sex is very important. Okay. Uh, safe sex, that's either you have a faithful partner and you are also faithful, or you use barrier during sex. Okay. And then uh, also uh, vaccination uh, is, is important. Screening is very important. Okay. Um, because if you screen, uh, you will be able to know if the virus is there and then you'll be able to treat yourself if it is there. Okay. Uh, and uh, that will also minimize the chance of having cancer. Uh, generally, knowledge of cervical cancer so, so as to improve behavior. So, so you will limit, uh, if possible, avoid smoking, avoid excess uh, alcohol, avoid the uh, activities that will reduce your immunity. And, and with all this, uh, you, are, you are good to go the chances of having cervical cancer will be largely reduced. Okay, Doctor. Doctor Habib, you mentioned safe sex practices. Yeah. Please, sir, let me talk like our people. Loud it for the people in the back. Yes. Help us re-emphasize the importance. Safe sex is very important, not only for cervical cancer, for other sexually transmitted disease and for other virus like HIV virus, which... Uh, may even be more problematic than cervical cancer. Okay. Uh, you know, because HIV itself can res- can increase the chances of cervical cancer, can increase chances of other cancers, sarcomas, hmm. you know, lymphomas, brain tumor, and all that. So, uh, safe sex is very important. Apart from the fact that even emotionally, uh, you know, if 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 you had sex with someone. You, you know, the your mood and the way you relate to that, that person is different from that you've not had with. So safe sex, also culturally, is, a, is, a, is, is, is a loud. Uh, we emphasize that. So okay. safe sex is very important. You should important. be faithful to your partner. Because like you said in the previous episodes, where... Um, Multiple partners who yes. may have multiple partners. Yeah. And multiple. you don't know where they are coming from. Exactly. If you are meeting with a partner that is meeting with multiple partners, sure. you are inadvertently meeting with all those ones when they come to transmission. Because yes. anything transmitted by any of those ones, you, you also get yes, it. You get so you are sharing it. it. Wow. You are all sharing, sharing it. whatever you have <laughs> if you have multiple sexual partners. Yes. So that's imp- the reason it's very important to limit, to have safe sex so you won't get, you know, not others oh, are carrying. Exactly. I couldn't agree more, Dr. Habib. Okay, so how can individuals actively contribute to raising awareness about HPV and cervical cancer? If you hear this program, recommend it. Hmm. And if you hear other programs that talk about cervical cancer, please encourage people to listen to it and read about it and encourage people to read about it. Uh, uh, when you light up uh, it can't do, you have brighter light. Of course. It doesn't remove your own. So if you, yes. uh, you know, encourage people to read, 
they those you encourage may even tell you what you you think you do not you know more no and you find out that they are able to even elaborate on your own knowledge so if we have the knowledge about cancer cervical cancer specifically we will be able to either prevent it or nip it in the body wow this has been very very impactful and with this dear listeners we have come to the end of another insightful journey on Sinla podcast we hope today's podcast has been a source of valuable information for you. If you found this topic helpful, please, like Dr. Habib said, if you hear this program, recommend it to another person. If you hear this podcast, recommend it to another person. So please recommend, share it with your friends and family to amplify awareness. Before we go, a heartfelt thank you to Dr. Habib for gracing us with his presence. He shared his expertise and his experiences. And in keeping with our tradition, sir, I'd like you to please sign our legacy board. <laughs> and this is for gracing our podcast with your presence. And you happen Thank to you. be the very first of course, person uh-huh. signing on our board. I feel like ringing bell. <laughs> <laughs> thank oh, you. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Thank you. And to you out there, to you out there, as we wrap up, please remember that knowledge is power. And I would encourage you to take charge of your sexual health. Please visit a sin lab location near you and request for our peachy panel. This is our anonymous STI testing. You can also request for LBC for your cervical cancer screening. Do not forget to like share, subscribe, and follow SinLab Nigeria on YouTube and on Spotify. Thank you for joining us on SinLab Podcast. My name is Uche Namadi, and I'm signing out.